guys, welcome to this first part of a series of videos I'm going to do on my work, working with clients on a one-to-one -one basis, whether they be high-end athletes. Um, I've previously worked for four and a half seasons for Richard Town Football Club first team. I work with um, professional boxers such as Fabian Wardley, um, but I also work with complete opposite ends of the spectrums. So I work with quite a few people in their 70s, 80s and 90s um, who have pain, who have pins and needles, who have issues sleeping. Um, and we work through their histories and we help them to move, breathe and live, hopefully slightly happier, healthier lives. Um, so as I say, this one was just an introduction really. What do I do? I have a history of being a nurse. I have um, nearly 15 years experience as a uh, registered nurse in coronary care, that's ARPS, excuse my dogs, um, and all the way through to accident emergency. Um, so minor injuries work is my favourite, but um, yeah, we kind of go through everything really. So through there, it's kind of come into being a yoga teacher, and I went and practised and studied in uh, Ooh, where did I go? In India for six months, and I travelled around uh, most of the West Coast, um, exploring different teachers, practices, styles. Um, and then I came home, and I did that for a few years, and I realised that whilst everyone thinks that yoga is the cure for everything, it's not. Um, it's definitely a reasonable starting place, but it lacks um, a, a fairly solid understanding of human anatomy. So then I ended up going through all sorts of things and I discovered Gary Ward. Um, there's two branches at this point. So I kind of discovered Gary Ward's work and prior to that I was also very much into the breath work, which I'll come on to in a second. But Gary Ward's work with anatomy in motion um, gave me a completely mind-blowing um, understanding of how the human body should and can work very quickly if we give it a chance. And this is where we'll come on to the second video in this series, which you can look forward to, is the idea of open versus closed treatment. So most of the time when you have pain, you have struggles, you go to see a physio, a chiropractor, an osteopath, and you end up being treated on the bed. Um, whereas that's not what I do at all. I do very, 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 very little hands-on work, more just a little bit of poking and stretching and kind of giving you um, blocking and just stopping parts of you moving more. But anyway, um, so that's where I've come to. Um, and along with that, I've then progressed to working with Helen Hall, who is a um, who is a Helen Hall. She's a running coach and a movement, um, I'm sure she would hate the word movement specialist, but she is bloody brilliant. Between her and Gary and Chris, um, who is one of those, in, in with those three, mind blowing. So anyway, um, and so between Chris and uh, between Helen and Gary's work, they highly, highly influence the way I work with people, looking at everything from developmental patternings of um, movements that we should have as a child, as a infant, um, and they should get integrated. And for one reason or another, maybe we don't. Um, I, for instance, skipped crawling. I crawled for like about a week, maybe a week and a half, and then I was straight up to standing and walking. And so I missed the developmental learning patterns that happened from crawling. So that's played out in my life. So it's been a good educational tool. So through that, through to the closed chain, um, whole body flow motion model, which is Gary Ward's real genius of um, putting together every single joint of the body. Uh, what one joint should be doing at one particular moment of the gait cycle and how that then influences up through the whole body. And you can map out every single joint in every single plane, side, front and round, roundy, twisty ones, at any particular moment in time. And it's, it's genius. And that really gives you a, you know, a roadmap as to how and where we should be looking for pain or if you have pain, that's why it's there and we can trace back to what isn't moving or what's moving too much. So on top of that then, as I said, then there's the breathing side. Yoga hugely influenced my breathing practice. Um, but again, 
a very severe lack of understanding of science um, led me to explore more of what and why things happen. So yoga says whatever, but it's very mystical, it's very esoteric, um, which has its place and is brilliant for um, a spiritual slash kind of journey into yourself. But if you actually want to understand the science behind it, yoga is not the greatest. So I then just started exploring. I found um, Patrick McEwen. I found a few bits and pieces, but Patrick McEwen was one of the first kind of sciencey people behind it. And very soon after that, um, Brian McKenzie. Uh, but Patrick McEwen is from Boteco Clinic and Oxygen Advantage. And he's done some amazing work to, to highlight breath work. Um, I've studied with him. I've done three courses with him now, I think. Um, and then with Brian McKenzie, uh, I have done two or three online courses with Brian now. Um, and yeah, both of these people I've had on my podcast. Well, all of those people I've had on my podcast, I should say. Um, so yeah, basically I bring together these two worlds of breath work and how uh, dysfunctional, inverted commas, uh, less optimal breathing can perhaps drive pain and discomfort and issues, but also drive psychological uh, problems, which can then also drive the physiological, uh, physical pains. Um, but also the movement sides of things and how that can then perhaps drive our breathing disorders. So if we have no ability to move our, our skull and our ribs and our pelvis, then perhaps we're never really going to be able to expand our lungs properly. So, um, yeah, there's that. Um, Dexter. Um, so, yeah, that's basically where we go. That's my introduction to myself. This is my boy Dexter. He's basically like my demon, if you've ever read... Um, his Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. They all have their little souls that they carry around, or they carry which are little puppies or animals. Um, and this is my soulmate. I love him. Um, so, <laughs> yes. Um, thanks for checking it out. I hope this maybe introduces you a little bit towards me. Look out for some more videos. There's going to be some on different, what's different about my work compared to um, going to see a physio. Um, why I am able to work, say, online and in person with people. So if you aren't in Ipswich or Suffolk, then you can always still contact me um, as I work with many people from, I've worked with people in Australia, um, Scotland, Wales, all over the country, uh, Cornwall, uh, Spain as well, I think. Spain or Portugal, I can't remember which one. Um, so yes, uh, I work with people all over the, country, all over the world. So. Um, there's no reason that we can't work together to help you move and breathe and live a happy, healthier life. So thanks, guys. Uh, please do like and share this. Subscribe to the channel. Keep an eye out. Watch out for some more videos because we will be introducing some other bits and pieces um, as to what I do and how I do and why I do very soon. So have a great day all and I hope you've got some sunshine where you are. We'll see you all very soon. Cheers, guys.